Hello guys, my name is Moby. Keep watching. The two things that strike me about the way that you look in tonight. The two things that strike me about the way that you look in tonight. Uh, my name is Moby. Um, I like to think of myself as a cooling culture. I'm an urban folklore singer from Lagos, Nigeria. I make pretty amazing music if I do say so myself. Uh, my music is majorly laced with a little bit of Yoruba and English. It's majorly a lot of storytelling. I have two EPs out. One is called Ariweko, where in, in where I was basically telling the stories that we forget to remember in Lagos. And there's another one. It's Big Daddy Mo, where I was playing like an interesting sugar daddy character. You should totally listen to it. I'm inspired by almost anything. I can be on the road and I hear somebody say, so, so for, for example, my song Omoase. I heard the slang, I was going somewhere and I heard the slang in, from somebody else in a car and somebody in an affair which was trying to overtake me. And I was like, ah, Omoase, you must be saying, you must be saying. And that was what triggered the entire song Omoase. So I'm pretty inspired by anything, everything. Sometimes it's my emotions. Fire, for example, which is the song that I wrote, I wrote because I lost my studio in the fire. Um, I'm pretty inspired by him. Where are you from? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Your daddy's who's son? Tobara koto soro, my baby queen for me. Tale ya toshu, where, where are you from? Um, I think the most challenging part about being an artist is getting listeners. Um, because the... It, and I think it's a supply and demand thing because the supply of artists and music is a lot plenty. The demand for quality is not that it's not that great. So I think the biggest supply is getting listeners because um, I had to go ahead and preach the gospel of my music almost to everybody that I meet and tell them, you know what, I'm a pretty amazing musician and you should listen to my music. Uh, my way of getting ahead of it is majorly creating quality content um, as much as possible, try to promote them on social media platforms and even um, traditional media like TV like this and uh, basically just get the word out here that we believe is here and it's good music you should listen to. I think the music is building a financially stable system already. I also just feel like we might just need to put in a little more structure here and there. Um, one of the things that we can do is create a level playing field for everyone. I would like a place where the genres are a lot more displayed out so such that you know for somebody who is singing soul she would get her audience or he or she will get her audience and you know and make her money. Somebody who is singing pop, somebody who is singing Afro beat, somebody who is singing Fuji and all of this you know the soundscape is diverse and I feel like that way you can meet people more at the point of their demands. I also feel like maybe a little bit more with structuring. Um, we thank God that we're done with we're almost done with the days of piracy. But a little bit of structuring here and there, but uh, we're good. Um, when I started, I don't think there was a, it was a lot accepted to the kind of music that I make. It was a lot more big, 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 big. But now I think the sound kit is getting diverse. There's music from different people and, you know, for example, you have people like cavemen who, who basically make traditional music and they're making money and, you know, getting their views almost everywhere in Africa. And it still doesn't stop, you know, your regular pop guys, it still doesn't stop your Fuji guys from making money. I think the major difference is the diversification of the soundscape. If I'm not making music right now or like if I was not making music totally, if I was not music, making music totally, I think I'd be working with my degree. I'm a pretty good, well, I studied electrical electronics engineering and I was pretty good at it. Uh, you know, the top five of my class. So I'm, I'll pretty be in one office with a tire, you know, trying to sort out a few engines and stuff. I'm, 
I, either I do that or I'll be doing something with the same. Well, I don't mean no disrespect. I just talk a little loose when I'm tipsy. Truth is, I rock it, I like reading a lot. I read a lot of African literature. Um, I was just reading Swallow. I think I just finished Swallow yesterday, Sefiata Swallow. Um, and I just watched the movie too. I like reading a lot. Um, I listen to music on the yes, music channel. Um, I sleep, which is a very good form of relaxation. Basically, this thing. I hang out with my friends. A few times. I'm a firm believer in disruption, so I'm the, most likely the guy that would go left when everybody's going right. So you would almost not catch me following trends every now and then, unless the trends really, really, if I'm really, really in tune with the style of music or it suits me per se. But if jumping on trends is really not my thing, I, I, I honestly don't think I'm, because you know, I'm one myself, but I also think, um, I think the only thing that I should say to anybody, upcoming artist, upcoming banker, upcoming photographer, anything, you just believe in yourself. Do what you think you need to do to get further and ahead of you. Bye, yo.